but no one's escaped me yet. Fear. And I don't mean it metaphorically, or rhetorically, or poetically, or theoretically, or in any other fancy way. I'm death. Straight up. Shh, don't tell. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I just love smell of fear. <laughs> I've enjoyed the chase, but I think we've reached the end now, you and I. But Death Man demanded back his knife, but Joshua refused. At this point, a heavenly voice rang out, gave him back, give him, give him back the knife, because the children of men have a need of it. Will bring death. Hesitant, Joshua Ben Levi gives back the knife in exchange for the angels of death's name. To never, forge, to never forget the name, he carved Trok into his arm. The angel of death choose, chose a name when the knife was returned to the angel. Joshua carving of the name faded and he forgot. Wow. Rabbinic fuse, the rabbis found the angel of death mentioned in Pal uh, Palism 8948 where the Targum translate there is no man who lives and seeing the angel of death can deliver his soul from his hand and thus explain the meteor rabbi in, to the passage one may not escape the angel of death nor say to him wait until I put him affairs in order or there is my son, my slave, take him in my steed. Where the angel of death appears, there is no rem remedy but that his name uh, is one of uh, one if the one who it was sin has confessed his faults, angel of death may not touch him. Oh, God protects from the angel of death, Midrash, Genesis, Rabbi, blah. By acts of benevolence, the anger of the angel of death is overcome when one fails to perform such acts of. The angel of death will make his appearance. The angel of death receives his orders from God. As soon as he has received permission to destroy, however, he makes no destination, de destin, destination between good and bad. In the city of Luz, 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 the angel of death has no power, and when the aged inhabited are ready to die, they go outside the city. A legend of the same effects exists in Ireland in the Middle Age. I'll be right back again, I'm sorry. Read on. Cat, what do you want? Uh, all right back sorry uh, I assumed you read all that so I'm gonna go over here 
in Islam, in Islam, Archangel Azrael. What do you look like? Cool. Oh, uh, is Nimelech, the angel of death. He and his many as subordinates, pulling the souls out of the bodies and guide them through the journey of the afterlife. Their appearance depends on the person, deed, and actions. Again, everything is judging what you do in your life. And because you kill somebody and saying, uh, what's that word? Um, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned, or whatever it is that you guys do, uh, does not mean you're going to go to heaven at all. But, you know, it's up to them and their, their agreement to your, um, plead. The deed and actions. With those that did good, seeing a beautiful being, and those that did wrong, seeing a horrific monster. You know what? We said this the other day, too. Islamic traditions discuss elaborately as to what exactly happens before, during, and after death. The angel of death appears to the dying to take out their soul. The sinner's souls are extracted in the most painful way while the righteous are treated easily. After the bur bur burial, two angels come to question the deed in order to test their faith. The righteous believer answers correctly and live in peace and comfort, while the sinners and disbelievers fail in punishment issue. The time period or stage between death and resurrection, resurrection is called Bazaar, the intergo. Death is a significant event in Islam, life and theology, and is seen not as termination of life, rather than the continuation of life in another form. In Islamic belief, God has made this worldly life as a test and a, a, a preparation ground for the afterlife and with death with with and with death this world worldly life comes to an end thus every person has only one chance to prepare themselves for the life to come where god will resurrect and judge every individual and will entitle them to a rewards or punishment based on their good and or bad deeds and death is is seen as a gateway to and beginning of the afterlife in islamic Isla, islamic belief death is predetermined by god <clears throat> and the exact time of the person's death is known only to god hmm I'm gonna let these dogs out. I'm gonna let you guys read this um in a minute. Songs that don't have no mercy. Main title: The 1960 gospel blues song "Death Don't Have No Mercy," composed by the first. Why are we talking about music? Won't be no reaper creeping death books. Death. Death. Oh, these are books where you can find more information of death. These are songs where you can uh, find information and music about death. Um, death's Book of Thievery. Death, uh, Harry. Oh, God damn it. Harry Potter has it too? Wow. Death, uh, Charlie Asher, Dirty Job, Comics, Death DC Comics, uh, Death Marvel Comics, Lady Mc... Films, they... There's a lot of things with Death, Seven Seals, The Adventures of Baron Machine, Final Destination Film Series, uh, Toro Pinocchio, Puss in Boots, Last Wish, <laughs> my favorite Death of all, television, all the, so all of these um, shows, uh, why Death has been famous, uh, being known, um, where he's been known, where he's been going at, um, tarot cards, skull art, all that stuff. Um, 
So, in morals of the story is live life to the fullest, treat others how you want to be treated, prepare yourself for judgment day, and no matter what you do, death will always come for you. Do not make him mad. Do not mock him. Do not make fun of him. Do not think you're mortal. Because he will come and teach you a big lesson. And with that, I say goodbye and have a blessed life. You know we will meet again, right? Sí, hasta la muerte. Fui a jugar con mi comida.